Sick. This thing is sick. I love all of this. So we started a new company. This was a dream. Set up with like a base level content. We want to learn more. This is the branding for it already. A real estate broker. We're going to build out. Look, I just started a side hustle. I started a media company. Or when you're showing homes and you get a question, you're going to answer that question, but then right away. Yeah, two seconds. Like if we have 57 voice notes from you in a day, that's a good thing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Your media squad chat is, 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 you need to make that your best friend. So Fitigu really started as um, a, a passion project or a little bit of a side hustle. Jazz and I, again, were talking about ways we could challenge ourselves and what could be our next business venture. And we didn't really know, we, we, we kind of threw out some ideas about what we might like to start and nothing was really sticking and then you know, one day it kind of clicks and I think that's what happens with what I think is a good business idea is that these things kind of present themselves. Opportunities tend to do that. They, they're right there in front of you if you keep your eyes open. Fidigo started, uh, believe it or not, um, more, more, more as a necessity than anything else because as I started to produce content for myself and my personal brand, um, I wanted to share that. With, with other real estate agents, other salespeople, other entrepreneurs. I just started a side hustle. I started a media company. Starting this media company was like, a, it's the side hustle of my, of my dreams. And as I started sharing that out to people, in fact, I made a full like 39 page guide on how to do it on your own, why to do it, who to hire, what equipment to use. How to produce 12 to 15 pieces of content with one pillar piece of content. This video, I'm gonna talk about how to master the art of producing constant content. But I found a hack. Start with doing a 30 to 40 minute recording. When I spoke to them a month, three months later, I started to hear the same thing. Well, Jazz, thanks for telling us how to do it and why to do it and what equipment to use, but we can't do this on our own. Can you just do it for us? And that's why I said it started out of necessity. Um, and that's how, that's how Fittigu started, uh, from the ground up media. That's how it all kind of came up and that uh, we're building it from the ground up. This thing is sick. I love all of this, man. Wow. Good. I'm glad that. Wow. You guys are doing Thank you great, for doing this. Yeah. Look, we're trying, man. We're um, we're trying to just get better, a little bit better every single time we do something, right? Amazing, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's them. Coming along. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. Like we've been at this for hours now, like collectively brainstorming what we're gonna do, and then the execution of it, and all that shit. So it's worth it. Just when somebody says, "Wow." They, we all know that. We're always looking for that word. Wow. I said it to him earlier in a video too. I was like, if everybody just fucking walks out here and says, wow, we did our job. FTGU, FITIGU, um, comes from uh, the acronym from the ground up. From the ground up is something that was near and dear to our hearts because you have it, it's actually on your shirt right now. And at the very bottom of the success table is FTGU. That stands for from the ground up. And that was just, it's kind of the most basic element, right? Like you have to understand that no matter what you do in life, you're gonna be starting from the bottom and that you need patience, you need to be humble about it. And that, that was kind of, you know, the first element that we thought of. And then we were coming up with all these ideas for name of a company and and it made sense because we knew that we were going to be starting this brick by brick. It was going to take a lot of time. You said that magical word, patience. We really feel when it comes to any type of business or producing content that you really have to start from the ground up. You, you got to get your hands dirty. You got to get, you know, in the mud, in the dirt yourselves. Understanding that all this, building a business, uh, uh, building content, making like getting out there is brick by brick. It in fact is the, the starting point of my success table. Uh, having the mindset that this is gonna take time and you need to build it brick by brick is, is starting from the ground up and understanding that it really, really is gonna take a lot of hard work and patience and that's where Fitigu started from. 
So we're going to go into a room right now where myself and Nikki, the videographer slash editor slash photographer, are going to be sitting down with a Fidigu client, Mark Carter, who's doing his first ever video shoot. So I'm going to be there to support him, coach him through it. And we're just going to look, you're going to see this, this all kind of unravel in front of you, unravel in a very positive way because it's his first shoot. So come on in. All right, guys, what's going on? It's Nick here from Fitigo Media. Just getting set up for our shoot with Mark. He's one of our newest clients. And uh, this is his introductory shoot. So basically our goal here is to A, get him set up with like a base level content, videos, photos, just so we can kind of start building his brand. And probably most importantly is getting him comfortable on camera because uh, not everyone's like a newscaster or a movie star. So we have to kind of go through the paces and get them comfortable on camera, myself included. Um, so today's all about building rapport with the new client and then getting them some great content. Do I even want me to look at the camera? Or? For now, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just guide you through. So we'll start with just looking straight on at me. Perfect, looking good. Reminds me of the pictures we took as kids where I was going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or like uh, school photos almost. Yeah. How'd it go so far? Yeah. Easy? Yeah. I should keep him, he's good? He's good. All right, yeah, I'll keep him. Too, I'll so. keep him, all right, well, all right. So where are we shooting this first video? Right in that chair. Okay, Marky, we're gonna sit together. You sit in there? You're over there? Am, am I okay to be here or no? Okay, cool, so, all right. That camera's secondary. Secondary, so that's your main camera. So do you want him to shift and look yeah. right there? Great, so you're gonna look in the camera. I'm not gonna look at you. You're not gonna look at me. I'm just here to kind of support you. Okay. All right. What I didn't see coming as a challenge was somebody, you know, a client saying, I'm ready to go. But then when the cameras turned on, they froze. I didn't see the, the, how much somebody might have insecurities around getting in front of a camera. And so coaching them through that process holding them accountable to actually shoot content. I have lots of shots at it. Like you, at, she'll ask you the question. Sorry, you have like a lot of time to just breathe and then answer the question. Awesome. Don't feel rushed. Okay. And then if you, if she's talking and you're like, hold on, but I don't understand something. Cut her off, ask another question. Okay. That, that could even be fun. We'll try and keep it to like five minutes or less. So I think let's just do that one first. Cause I think that's a really good place to start. Cause it's like a market fundamental. Um, and then we'll worry we'll, we'll about the second one when we're done. I think the first topic that you actually brought up, so I think we start there, okay. is speaking about could you get fun? And so, and so you're, you're going to be talking. You know what I mean? You're the guy who's just providing value. You're not the sleazy sales guy who's always asking for business. Yeah. It's just like, look, I'm here to just, I'm just here to provide value the deal uh, for a client who um, has was pre-approved, went to a mortgage uh, associate specialist and uh, asked what they were qualified for. And they, in this particular instance, I can shoot, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> fucking proud of you. You don't even know. Well, even fine. if we never do this again, which we're going to do this for the rest of our lives together, yeah. Yeah. I want you to know that just, and I want to thank you for allowing me to be part of it. Because well, the zero to the two is amazing. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm really excited by all this. As you, I don't know if you can tell, but I, I am. can fucking tell. I can tell. I can so, tell. Yeah, so it's it's fun. I'm not going to exaggerate it, and I'm not trying to over dramatize it. I can tell you. I think the coolest thing that Laura and I have built here with Fidigu is the fact that Nikki and Steven and Chiquita and Clem, who's working from home, they um they they love seeing the transition and being part of it as well. From someone like who's not shooting content and doing content to doing content, and they're just as passionate now. You're gonna tell how passionate they are by the editing that they put together, because they do it with love. It's, it, it's, not, a, it's not a machine. Uh, put Mark's fucking video in there and just get it done and get it out. It's not, let's, let's how do we wanna showcase this video? How do we wanna shoot it? How do you, who's Mark? That's a great, that, that's a great that's point. Question. That's what they're throwing around. Who is Mark? Let's make sure we put him on this. Let's do it like this. And that's gonna happen over time as we capture more content. Yeah. But today was fucking awesome. Great, I'm man. so proud of you. Thanks. Thanks. So proud of you. Let's get down that. Uh, let's make sure we know how to, he knows how to send us stuff, okay? 
So generally speaking, when a client comes to us, usually nine times out of 10, it's because they've seen either Jazz's content or my content. Um, they've been following us for a while and they're, you know, they're already convinced that content is certainly something they should be doing for their business. Initially, when you said like my money, I'm like, yeah, scrap that. So let's Initially. go. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Go, so we don't have to but go yeah, anywhere. It could be the Chris D'Souza show. It could be the Chris D'Souza show. Chris D show. Yeah. Like he doesn't want to come across as like I'm better than you and I'm flashy. You're like he's. No, I don't want to just have him like the mortgage show and then he can only talk about mortgages. No, opening it up like, for like financing is bad. And Stephen Rochester's of the world who want to learn more. Yeah, but they don't want. Yeah, to that's learn why I want from, him to ask right. questions you know I mean? from like the average Joe. Like, like, even things like that. If, if this is the branding for it already, then let's kind of follow something in this. But maybe like the blues and add an orange, right? Yeah, because I'm just trying to picture your thumbnails that you're going to use for his. My advice usually to them is to try to get them to understand that what they're really needing to build is a personal brand. Um, so even if they work for a brokerage or they work for a team they need to start looking at themselves as the brand and to come up with two or three things that they want their brand to stand for. Um, you can't just be a real estate agent anymore. That's just not good enough. You can't showcase yourself every single day with the suit done up saying, this is my new listing. This is what I just sold. So how can you be in front of them, entertaining them or providing them with value and not talking about real estate? So I always say, think of other things that you do. What are your other hobbies and passions that you could also showcase to people to help build that connection? With the first episode, um, what you guys can do for me to help, mo not monetize it, but optimize it yeah. um, on the socials. I'm pulling you up here, go on. Yes, yeah, so, okay, so that one, I have like four accounts. Okay. I'm condensing to this account. Good. I'm gonna delete some of the motorcycle stuff because it's all motorcycle stuff, but we'll, we'll, just, we'll push it down. No, Jazz is my first business partner. I don't know if I chose wisely. <laughs> Well, luckily I had a lot of experience because even though I'm not his business partner on the real estate side of things, I am the VP of marketing and sales. And so we've been working very closely together for the past five years for sure. Um, Laura Stewart, uh, business partner here in Fittigu, also is uh, the VP of my real estate company, REC Canada, which I have another business partner uh, in as well. Um, but Laura's an interesting person. Um, she, she has uh, changed a lot of careers in in her lifetime um, and is 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 really a little fireball um, if you haven't met her before um, I think you'll come to realize that I say a little fireball because she's a small little girl and 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 but is very fiery um, knows what she wants uh, very personable there are days that it's fantastic because jazz brings a ton of energy to the table he's relentless when it comes to never giving up um, he's relentless when it comes to like if you get knocked down like he's gonna get right back up he doesn't sweat the small stuff um, he's always thinking about the next best thing the the best thing about him is I come in in the morning on a Monday morning and he's like okay so I spent the entire week weekend thinking about XYZ and I know that he's working on his off time and he's gonna give it a hundred percent of his all and that's very inspiring to be around. I think it brings out the best in me because I don't want to let him down. She allows me to go out, meet clients, bring the business in, and then she can really draw out the systems. In fact, that's how she became VP of the real estate company because we had no systems. Um, myself and my current business partner, um, and and so she definitely filled that that gap in the in, in our business in uh, at REC Canada. But with Fitigu, I mean, she she started it with a blank slate, right? And she figured out, okay, you know, we're gonna bring in a client, and and their first shoot is gonna be this, and this is how we're gonna onboard them. This is how you know uh, uh, the 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 workload's gonna go to the videographers and the editors. I can see it in my mind, um, but then what Laura can do very well is draw it out on a map so everyone else can see it. You know, look, for me, the motorcycle ones, I actually love them. This car I love. I just want to see your face more. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think what, you know, and I was looking at uh, our boys yesterday, Seymour said, what was this now? Look what starts to happen. Yeah. Look what starts to happen. Look what starts like to how happen. much more exciting look is that? Look what starts to happen. Look what starts to happen. Not one post without him is yeah. starting to get the crack. Yeah. Yeah. Because the crack is like, Oh my God, when people see me, they actually comment and they engage. Obviously, because they see you now. It's like, oh my God, that's our buddy. We know him. Fitigu, the company to me, 
I think means a lot actually. Um, it means independence. I've never had my own business before. Um, for many, many years, I, when I first got in real estate, I wasn't making very much money and I was um, leaning on my husband a lot for to pay bills and to buy stuff and to foot my marketing expenses for my company. And thank God he had um, the belief in me to do that. But something about doing something that's mine, that I started. Fitigu for me, huh, from a personal level, um, really means a lot because um, as I've always wanted to inspire people, um, but not only from a mindset perspective, but also from a tactical and strategic perspective, meaning that I, I, I wanted to watch someone go from not producing one piece of content because they had no support, no accountability, not the know-how, or they just were fearful. And now to see this unravel in front of my eyes, and I mean unravel in a very positive way, um, where I'm watching people get started and actually execute and then get results, it's, I have to say, um, you know, with my real estate company, I get people, I get to see people create wealth. We're here with Fitigu, um, I'm getting, I'm getting to watch people get over their fears and be part of it. You know, I, I'm going to do my absolute best to made, make it a success so that I know 20 years from now, because that's the person I'm thinking of, right? Me when I'm, what is that, 56? When I'm 56 years old and I'm looking back on the person who was 36 and scared and taking this leap of faith. I, I want to be proud of her. I want to be proud that she did something, or she, at least she tried. You know, at the very end of the day, I think you just want to look back and say, like, I gave something my all and let the market speak for itself. Um, so I think it means a lot to me already, and I think and I hope it's going to mean even more in the, in the future. I, myself personally, Laura, Fitigu as a company, the videographers, the editors, the animators, the whole squad um, might only be a point one point zero 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 one percent part of someone's success, um, and that's that. I would say is again the most gratifying aspect of of this company.